Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today's video, I have one of my friends with me. I'm Bobby. Uh, and today, as requested, we're gonna do a Q and A of Taekwondo. There's a beat I need to follow, and my heart knows where to go. Most common questions that we get asked as martial artists, we're going to answer those today. So, number one question I get asked as a martial artist is, when did I start Taekwondo? I started when I was eight. I started when I was 13, and I'm 16 now, so I've been in it for just like three years and a couple months. So, I started because of one of my friend's birthday parties, and... Loved it ever since then. I started kind of as a joke, which is kind of weird. Um, my school gave out these things. If you made all A's, you would get a free month of, like, classes. And so we always joked about going to do it. And I joked, and I was like, I'm going to use it because I want to, like, see, like, what you do in the three months. But I was not going to sign up. Another question is, how long does a t tournament usually last? It really depends on the tournament that you're at most of them take all day another question is what belt are we i am a third degree black belt currently she's my senior rank because i've only been in it for three years i am a first degree black belt but hopefully i will be testing for my second degree within the next couple months so yeah like do you do the karate there's chop not just one specific karate chop there's well, it's not called a karate chop, number one. No. <laughs> it's no. a knife hand strike, most commonly known as a knife hand strike. That goes like this. Yes. So. It's not, not like a chop, either. It's not like that. That doesn't. What is this? I'm shaking somebody's hand? Like, no. It's not known as a karate chop. Is it taekwondo or karate? Yeah. It is Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Taekwondo and karate are completely two different things. They're both martial arts, but, but like, like I consider wrestling a martial art. Like it's not, it's not the same thing. They're they're different. Like wrestling and Taekwondo are not the same. Jiu-jitsu and wrestling are not the same. It's just there's a lot of different forms of martial arts. We are with the American Taekwondo Association, Taekwondo. So. That's what we do, ATA. How do you do Taekwondo? Well, Taekwondo, okay, so Taekwondo is like a lifestyle, and really what I've taken from it personally is like balance. Like everything is a balance. Like there's a balance in your physical training aspect, but then there's a balance in your life because you have to have like time management and set aside time to practice your material that you learn. But then in Taekwondo, like, you have to have a balance of, like, strength on both legs, or there's a balance of making sure that you include every aspect, like, joint position and rotation, reaction force, power, speed, all that. You have to have that balance. So Taekwondo is really, like, in my opinion, it's all about balance. I don't know. Because if you didn't have the balance, you would fall over. And I fall over a lot, but I still have some wet of balance, because if I didn't have balance, I'd fall over all the time. I've gotten yes. better, I will say that though. He had asked, do I compete with regular people or do I compete in the special abilities ring? Kinda did both, but, okay, so I started out in the special abilities ring and now currently I compete against uh, my own age group. When I first saw her at a tournament, cause she's a lot higher ranked than me, so I didn't like, when I was a color belt, I had this thing that I thought all black belts were in a cult. So I was kind of like antisocial towards black belts. And I would see her at the tournaments, but she was a black belt, of course. So I was not going to make the effort to go talk because she's a black belt. And I was like, oh, she's in the cult. But at first, like when I first saw her, she was like on a walker a lot. And now like I'm, I never see her with the walker at all. Like she's gotten a lot stronger and like more powerful and fit recently like she's doing really really good so do i use my walker when i can 
No, I do not <laughs> anymore. But I used to in special abilities. Mm-hmm. But now that I compete in the regular ring, I do not. I asked if we do if we say haya. Um, there's two ways to answer that question. No, and slightly, but not in that form. Yeah. Um, we do kiops, which is shouts, but they sound Mm -hmm. like this. If you're in traditional, they sound like aya. If you're in XMA, they sound like yaish to, yaish asa, but more extreme. Do you fight each other? Oh yeah, that's another good comment on that. I, I've always, really had one way to answer that and that is yes but with gear on yes safely yes we safely fight each other but we don't actually hurt each other no and like sparring is like a sport it's not really like like, it is self-defense because it gives you the muscle memory to, like, be able to hit someone. Because I, I had a problem when I first started. I was really scared to, like, hit other people. But they would hit me. So I had to hit them back, you know, because, like, you can't just stand there and get hit like a punching bag. You might as well <laughs> be a punching bag, you know. So yeah. It gets you used to, like, getting hit for self-defense and teaches you how to take a hit. But it's done with control. It's done very carefully. And it's more of a sport. It's not, like – we're going to go at it and try and kill each other because at the end of the day, we both have to go back to our normal lives and be able to move without breaking our legs and stuff. So yeah. it's done very safely and it's, it's not really a fight. It's more of like a sport, like trying, it's like trying to get the ping pong ball across the net. I'm trying to get my foot to their head. It's not really yes. that a ping pong isn't even a sport, but yeah. Well, I mean, like that. The uniform or the dobok or the gi, whatever you want to call it. The uniform, we wear those for, like, uniformity. We wear it for unity because ATA, like, the word of the year in, was it 20? No, because this year was 2019. This year is the scam of 2020. So in 2018, yeah. um, the word of ATA was unity. And, like, that's kind of like what the uniforms are for. They're for unity. So everybody's, like, unified. So we have a uniform, so we all look the same and have that martial arts aspect. Like, because martial is a military art, like martial arts, military art. So we have that military unity aspect. That's technically our Q&A for this video. If you like to give it a thumbs up. If you want, Bobby and other videos, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> um, I'm sure we'll do other videos together in the future.